Bonjour tout le monde! In this little video tutorial, I'm going to help you with how to do this um, assignment on les animaux de compagnie. You're using this infographie or infographic to answer some questions up here. And basically, it's just having you find certain pieces of information um, based on the pictures, based on the context, based on what we've learned in class, etc. So some of what you're doing is going to be looking for words like pets en français or breeds en français. Um, down here, you're going to guess what some words mean based on their context, like foyer, accessoire, achat. And then for a couple of these, you're kind of using your powers of inference to um, synthesize some information or make some educated guesses. So that's what you're doing down here. And then also um, up here where you write the main idea of the the infographie. <clears throat> so here, uh, this is the part that I think students tend to have the most uh, trouble with. So these supporting details are not all included in the infographie. So first you have to ask yourself, can I find this detail in this infographie? If you can, put a check mark and then fill in the information that's given for each detail. So let's do one together. The most popular pets in the United States. Well, looks like this is talking about les animaux de compagnie en France. I don't see anything about les États-Unis. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that that detail is not there. So you can just leave that blank. How about the number of households that have pets in France? Hmm. Un foyer sur deux possède au moins un animal. So, un foyer sur deux. Foyer, this looks kind of like foyer in English. Um, a foyer is the part of your house that you see when you walk in. Um, and I'm not exactly sure how we ended up with that term in English, but foyer en français means home. And you can kind of see how those terms are related. You come into a place and you feel like you're at home, I guess. Um, at any rate, foyer en français, home. So, one home sur, on, in this case it kind of means out of, de possède au moins un animal. So we can say one out of two, and up here we can just check that and then copy this sentence. Un foyer sur deux possède au moins un animal. Um, actually, I'm sorry, translated into English. I forgot what I'd ask here. So you can say one out of two households in France has at least one animal. Okay. So this might be a little bit challenging. Just do your best. And um, if you have any questions, of course, you can always email or set up a, a meeting with me. Au revoir tout le monde.